So before we get started on our uh, lab and getting into hypothesis testing and all of that uh, excellent and very, very interesting uh, concepts, what we want to first do is I want to show some interesting ways that you could potentially um, go about um, testing different materials um, or testing different, doing different types of hypothesis testing, test testing, and then also visualizing that on a plot. So let's read in our kind of some of our old familiars uh, here. And we can just do st our stats. Just do stats. Do, do, do. And let's create um, a data set here. So these should all be very, very, very different. We can kind of um, look at these uh, as well. So for example, if I want to, I'm going to kind of frame my data set here and then we can kind of start to play around with this. Um, let's say I want to test if data one, data two, data three, are if any of these are different, right? So I could do t.test and then I'm gonna do dat one uh, and I'm gonna look at that one quickly here. That one. Okay, we have that already. So I'm just gonna do dat one, comma, dat two, uh, and I am going to say I want to do my conf level equals 0.95. I want to do alternative, alternative to dot cited, and we are gonna see are these different. Um, and we can see at the p-value, even if we're doing 95%, uh, the, those are very different. <laughs> those are very, 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 very low p-values. So um, that's looking good. And it kind of makes sense when you look at the values. Um, and we can do the same thing for uh, here and here. So data one and two, we can do data three and two at the 95%, and we can do data one and three at 95% as well. And we see extremely low values, different T values. So again, you can kind of confirm those. But um, so th this looks pretty clear that these are statistically, you know, different. Um, one way that we can now visualize this in the box plot, and not only just by looking at kind of our notches, but also showing on the actual plot that this is indeed like statistically significant. So we can look at our data set. We look at the values. So we can go ahead and start to take my PDAT and let's let's start to let's let's uh, pipe it to um, ggplot. So ggplot, and then we will specify our AES. Our x-axis is going to be equal to our um, our data set, our data set, data set. Uh, our y is going to be equal to, I think it's going to be the vowels, val, our val, and we are going to, we can leave it at this. Um, so I want plus gg, or actually geome box plot. I want my notch to be equal to true because I want that notch. And then I'm going to add um, geome sig, uh, sig nif. Um, so we need this value here. So actually we can go ahead and look at genome underscore signif. Uh, and you can kind of see from uh, imported from the gsignif packages. So we can look at this here. Um, so we can look and actually, let's go ahead and bring this in. So it's looking at sat, sat significance and it's pulling this in here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do install packages and then let's do gg signif and then we can go ahead and do library gg signif gg Go, and we got. So if I do this now, geom sig, it's fine. <laughs> so geom sig this, so I can now do. I want to do comparisons. So I want to compare effectively um, different values. So I'm going to compare. I'm going to create a list. 
and I'm going to do C. So I want to compare first. I see in my PDAT I've got X and Y and Y and Z and all those good things. So I'm going to compare um, X and Y. I'm going to also compare, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to compare Y and Z. Y and Z. And I'm also going to compare C, uh, X, and Z. So those are going to be my comparisons. Um, so I'm going to compare those. And let's go ahead and see if we can. I think we're in the, we're in the good spot here. Let's see, list. And I should go all the way to here. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to go to comma, and I'm going to map. Um, significance level, and we're going to say true. I want to map my significance. I'm going to set my um, text size equal to five for now. Um, and then we are going to do plus, I am going to go ahead and set a light y limit minimum, not applicable, and then. Depending on these values, we're going to have to adjust it. So 100, so let's say, let's say I set it at two, let's say 300 right now. So this should give me a box plot with my data set on my X axis, my Y values, notches, and then it's going to show on the, on the actual value, a comparison plot. And you can see that right here. So see, it's too, it's too large. I'm going to change this to... I think 220 may give us it, but probably 250 may be better. Yeah, we could even, I mean, 210. And we can see that X is very, dif uh, you know, distinct. And we can do even, um, you know, we can say group, group equals that set. And you could do all the cool stuff here, but it's clearly showing. So what this is showing is this, from here to here, different the stars indicate significance. Um, if it's not significant, it'll just spit out NA. Here and here is different, and also here to here as well. So the big plot uh, as well. So it's a nice it's a nice little visualization to show on the plot, aside from your notches, which are super small, you see the confidence intervals. Um, and again, if we change this data set, right? Like let's say I change this to be standard deviation was 50. And let's say I stand this standard deviation to 80. And then this was like 50 as well. And if we re-ran this data set, bang, 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 bang. And then we can look at now the t-tests. Uh, some of them are looking different. Actually, we can kind of look at the two here. Do one, do two. And then we could actually go ahead and look. And you could see them larger here, but they're actually still apart. But if we all made them like 100, you know, 90, 95, we can change some of the values here. You can see the t-tests. Now the t-tests are getting a little bit more close. Uh, and you can kind of see some of those values. They're starting to get close there. And you see now I can I have to change my significance to like, let's say it's three, or the, the view 300. So see, I need to raise it even further and now you can kind of see the values and each of the stars kind of indicate again a different level the more stars you have effectively the even the lower the value that you um, obtain so that is it so we are basically done with this comparison so we will see you all in the next video bye